What if your smartphone had control over what you're allowed to take photographs or video of? It'd be kind of crazy, right? Um, so here's what happened recently, and there's a lot of speculation as to why and what's going to come of it. Uh, Apple has been working on a sophisticated infrared system for iOS cameras for quite a while. This is actually a continuation that was filed in 2014 for an initial patent application in 2011. And what it does pretty much is grants Apple the rights to the patent to manufacture a device that has an infrared sensor built into it that can prevent you from using your phone for photography purposes. So now, why would they want to do that? Again, lots of speculation, but here's something interesting. I had no idea about this before. If you go to an Alicia Keys concert, you have to put your phone into a special bag that will prevent it from being used. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people who are annoyed by people holding up their phones at concerts, not really watching the concert. Uh, a lot of flash photography going on that's annoying to the people who are performing. So there's good reason for why this technology might be developed. Apple, in fact, has uh, several potential uses for it that they've uh, filed in their initial patent application. And what it says is they can be used for things like creating auto-guided tours so you could take your phone through a museum let's say and when you pointed it at a certain artifact you could get an explanation or uh, some audio or more video or whatever it is they want to send to your phone based on the fact that the infrared sensor in your phone is picking up from this transmitter that says this is what you're now looking at. You could also use this in a retail environment if you wanted to get product information, uh, inventory levels, discounts, you know you could pretty much just point your phone at a label or at a transmitter that is, and it would tell you what information they have available or what information they want you to have about that product. Employers could use this type of technology to prevent anyone from taking photographs of proprietary information and then spreading it around. It could be used in movie theaters to prevent people from illegally pirating movies, basically recording the movie with their phone. There are a number of different ways that this could be used for the right reasons. And at the same time, the concern is that there are a number of ways it could be used for bad or evil purposes, pretty much. If you can imagine, there are a lot of repressive governments around the world who would love to be able to limit what people are able to photograph, record, uh, record audio of, you name it. So if they had the ability to just shut down everyone's phone in a given area, that could definitely be used for the wrong purpose. Obviously, iPhones don't currently come with infrared sensors. That's not something that's built into them. This would be something that would be built into their devices later down the line. And of course, the first question that people say is, couldn't this easily be defeated by simply covering up the infrared sensor on the phone? Well, this patent will actually include building the infrared sensor into the camera. So the camera, which is what is going to be capturing the image, would be the part of the phone that's receiving a signal that says, yes, no, you can or cannot uh, photograph or record this, or here's the object that you're looking at, and so forth. So basically, no, that's not going to work. Covering up the camera would pretty much defeat the purpose because you wouldn't be able to record anything anyways. Now, obviously, there are plenty of ways to record video. So if one manufacturer were to build this technology into their phone, especially if they were the first manufacturer to do so, it seems like there would be some backlash and a lot of people would probably not continue to buy that product or buy from that company. Then again, we're talking about Apple here. So in some cases, it seems that uh, with certain people who are enthusiasts of their brand name, they really can do no wrong and they'll buy into whatever it is that Apple chooses to do. So there would still be a certain crowd that, again, I, like I said, no matter what they do, they were still going to be loyal to that product or to that brand name. Now, the good news here, of course, is that before everyone gets into a panic, there are lots of ways to create video. You don't have to use your smartphone to do it. And while this all seems a bit overblown, if you really think about it, I think the panic is undue. Um, it is something good to think about, and it's definitely something to be aware of when you're purchasing a product. If they're building this technology into it, you should definitely allow that to influence your buying decision. After all, we all have the ability to vote with our wallets. Now, is Apple going to take this to that level? It seems highly unlikely. Uh, Apple has tons of patents that they've been granted, tons of patents they've filed for, for all sorts of technology that they have still not put into use. In fact, we're kind of at a point in time now where it's, it's almost a race to see who can secure a patent first, and then they'll worry about what to do with it later on, or who they can sell it to, or who they can charge 
to allow to use that technology. It seems highly unlikely that this is ever going to be an issue, at least in the near future, but who knows, a lot of things could happen. So by all means, if you have input, questions, comments, place them down in the comment section and let's talk about it. All right, what else is going on here in wireless? Some problems for Android users as well. Apparently 10 million Android devices have been infected by Chinese malware. Now this isn't the dangerous type that is going to destroy your phone. However, uh, depending on whether or not you have root access to it, it can do some pretty nasty stuff to your phone. The good news uh, for people in the US anyways, is that most of what's going on is happening in India and China. It's a very small number of handsets that are affected in within the US. Now the discouraging part of this is I've been all over the web trying to figure out, and by the way, this is called uh, humming bad, not humming bird, but humming bad. And it's a form of malware that pretty much generates revenue for a company who monitors analytics. So what they've done is they built in a malware to applications that are not authorized or not known by the play store or Google market. So when you go into the settings on your phone and you allow it to download third party applications that are not recognized by Google, you can open yourself up to some pretty nasty stuff. So this one, again, is not going to destroy your phone. They're not going to attempt to extort money from you, at least that I'm aware of. However, they will allow other applications to be installed. And what pretty much happens is your phone will look as if you are clicking on someone's advertisement. And therefore, the person who is paying for that advertising is losing money. And the person who is selling that advertising is making money, although you are not obviously interested in the product or intentionally visiting those websites. You're not clicking through because you want to. Your phone's doing it for you. So this is basically another money-making scheme that is built in to take advantage of Android handsets or Android devices, I should say. So how can you tell if you're infected by it? Well, there's not really any good answer out there. There are some different malware programs you can run on your phone to detect it, but the best answer I could find anywhere was pretty much that you want to back up your important information, do a hard reset, put your phone back to factory settings. I know this is a headache. And again, if you're not concerned about it, I'm not recommending everyone rush out and do this. However, it's something to think about, especially if you're in India or China, apparently, where most of this is going on. In the US, uh, your chances of being infected, at least at this point, are very small, so no need to panic. Uh, you might be a little more concerned if you have root access because it does allow much more control of your device by any malware that gets installed. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.